Hey, Chan Physics. So now we're in what is called two-step conversions. And the question you should have is, why do we need to do two steps, right, instead of one? I thought that we learned a method that was going to allow us to use just about anything to convert anything. And so what we wanted you to know is that our um, method works really, really well. If we're down here and we're going to go to the base or if we're in the base and go down, that works out really well. And it works out very well if we're up here and we're going to go to any, any of these down to the base or from the base up. But there's two things that we can't do. We can't jump over the base, so we can't go from here all the way down to here. And we can't jump in between these two sections. The reason why we then do two steps is that if we are going from up here down below, well, then we're just going to stop at the base. And then we'll stop at the base and then we'll go down system works. And if we are here, and let's say we're going to go from centi to milli, well then what we're going to need to do is jump up to the base and then jump back down to milli. And so this is an instance, this first problem is where we're up here, we're in kilometers, and we're going to get down here and we want to go to centimeters. So the problem is 8.5 kilometers and we want to get to centimeters. So first, I'm going to do it wrong. Let's just say I forgot that we um, can't jump over the base because we're going to go from kilometers to centimeters. So I go ahead and I start building my conversion factor, and I put kilometers here, and I put centimeters here, right? And then I put a 1 next to the kilo because it's bigger. But now I'm left with a quandary. Can't figure out. Do I use the number for kilo or do I use the number for centi? And this should be an indication to you you've done something wrong, right? Because there's never going to be that choice between one or the other. So let's take a look at when we do it right, what happens. So 8.5 kilometers, we build our conversion factor, right? We're going to put kilo opposite because we want to get rid of it. And we're going to stop at the base at meters. We're going to ask ourselves which one's bigger. It's a kilo. And now we're saying, okay, what's the number um, for kilo? Right? Kilo is one, two, three, a thousand. And even if you were to ask yourself, well, what's the number for meters? Well, meters is the base, it has no number. So you don't have that choice that you over here where you had to choose between a hundred and a thousand. Our choice here is kilo is a thousand. Meter doesn't even have a number, so we'll just put in a thousand right now we can always check to make sure that we're doing it correctly kilometers and kilometers are going to cross out and now so we said we're just going to stop at the base right we're going to start at kilo we're going to stop at the base and then we're going to go down to centi well now all we have to do is build a second conversion factor two-step conversion right we want to get rid of meters so we're going to put that opposite we're going to try to go to centimeter so we'll put that there We'll ask ourselves which one's bigger, the meter, and what's our number for centi, right? Is 100. All right? So now the meters will cross out, and we're just left with a problem for our calculator 8.5 times 1,000 times 100, All right? And that's going to be 85123. 8, 1, 2, 3, 4, and we have to add another one. So I think it's 850,000 centimeters is our answer. Okay, so remember there's one later on in this system where we're going to go from centimeter to millimeter. Remember in that problem, you're going to jump up to the base and then jump back down to milli. And that's what you're going to have to do. All right, um, keep working, Chan. We'll talk to you soon.